So this is actually the night before I am doing this chatty get ready with me where I'm literally getting ready to go into town. So I wanted to uh, show you my nighttime routine uh, for what I do for mature skin. So I first want you to, I'll just zoom you in a minute. So I want you to see I have here, I'm using the viewfinder so I can see what you're seeing. So here I have this sun damage like melasma which goes around here. You can see this clear, like um, clear uh, difference from here to here where this is new skin from where I've been treating it. Uh, it was completely covering the face so it takes some time. I mean I've been doing this for a year now. So this is from not looking after my skin for about three years. Not caring because of the medication, because of feeling depressed from being in pain all the time. You know, so anyway. So I got all this sun damage to get rid of. I do have freckles and they're only just starting to come back. I've got a few here, so I've never been so happy to see my freckles. So I also have this deep line. Now I actually started getting that um, quite a few years ago. Uh, so probably about four years ago. It's just here, just one deeper line. I've got fine lines here. I did have a really prominent like frown line, but I've got rid of that now. And I'll tell you how in a minute. I have some fine lines here. Don't know whether you can see them. So just here, I've got fine lines, dry. Obviously here you see when my skin gets really dry and my eyes, it does bag a bit, you know. Um, this, like I said, is due to having two operations on my eye. Uh, but that's fine, that's cool. You know, it, it's fine once it's got makeup on. I don't care as long as it looks good when makeup's on it. So I also have discoloration here. I have scar lines. Now this I have from picking at my lips. Literally, I would get all these hormonal spots around my lips and I would squish them. And, you know, my ex-partner would come back. I've been single 10 years now. Um, so when I was with him... 10 years and earlier he would come back near enough every day and say have you been picking again because I remember him saying that to me so I've definitely been doing it for about a decade like you know on the regular I have these scars all around my lips here I've got a line which is quite prominent here and I lost elasticity and fullness in my lips now what I've done here I've actually put in fillers myself I was going to get them done before the outbreak and um, unfortunately that happened so I couldn't and then I found out about the Hyaluron pen and I use um, filler UK to buy my fillers um, so you know it's a, a good company reputable company and safe and I know what I'm using and I know it's safe I've watched a lot of videos on YouTube on how to do it and you know I've had great results and now I have natural looking lips the lines gone here because of filling up my lips I got fullness they look the same happy it's also yeah I, it, when I first do my lip fillers I've done it a few times now when I first do it uh, you can't see any scarring whatsoever. It gets rid of all of that. After a while, that comes back. Um, you know, so I have that. Uh, I know I've got some discoloration here on the chin. Uh, really strange. I've got like a white mark. I'm not sure what that's about. So, you know, I've got these like things I, I want to sort out. Mainly this discoloration zoom you out a minute and let's do my nighttime routine so i've already washed my face using elemis so i'm gonna i've washed it i've washed my face using this so it is just it smells really strong 
of roses um, you take a small amount you only need a small amount I put it all over the face and then I use um, a cloth a really warm cloth to wipe off so that's um, that's manual exfoliation because when you're wiping over with something which is a bit um, you know a bit of texture that's gonna brush away dead skin cells so um, that I like to do and the reason why I like to do that is because I use chemical exfoliants and what you want I mean the chemical exfoliants are working and that skin that dead skin those cells are gonna still sit on your skin I mean eventually they will fall away but you could help things along by brushing them away but gently so this is a good gentle way to do that so what I did I rubbed all over I made sure I really concentrated here you know I'm not like really tugging at the skin because you don't want to put more wrinkles on your face but I am um, like really you know working it in working it around I also wipe it over my eyes and under my eyes and then after, like I said, I use the cloth and I wipe over, rinse, wipe over, rinse. And then I would rinse my whole face with just water splashing it on my face. And the reason being is because it could still leave some like tackiness there. The next thing I'm going to use is the niacinamide. So this is by The Ordinary and it's niacinamide 10% and zinc one percent percent now the reason why i use niacinamide is because it promotes collagen production it also um lightens the skin it helps get rid of wrinkles um you know and i i want the niacinamide to help with lightening this um like sun damaged melasma which i got because that's the thing i don't like so much right now that's what I want to work on so I'm gonna take I don't know about four or five drops in my hand there I'll just rub it on my hands and I'll just put it over and I'll just make sure I go all over not my eyes you often get bits in between your fingers there so I got some there and I'll just pat that in to where I've got that wrinkle because in the middle of that wrinkle the reason why it looks so deep is because it has darker skin inside it from being sun damaged the brown is literally inside it so as you know if you're shading or something you know or coloring it in dark like a line that's going to show more right so I just sort of pat that on and it does feel a little bit itchy right now. That's fine. I'm going to use the Ordinary 1% in Squalene Retinol. So Retinol is uh, good um, for getting rid of wrinkles. Uh, it's, um, it's great for lightening age spots or sun damage. You know, and um, it helps with production of collagen and, you know, all that good stuff, <laughs> what you want. So that I do run under my eyes there. I don't put it on the working eyelid though. I don't put anything on there because you don't want that to get sore and I also don't bring any of the exfoliants under my chin uh, because that might migrate down and I've had like red patches <laughs> on my neck before quite uncomfortable quite itchy so I put that um, everywhere concentrate on those wrinkles so retinol is a chemical exfoliant so is niacinamide Will that help get rid of those scars, scarrings, and really great. Now, if you do get any types of fillers, if you decide to get a Hyaluron pen, 
and do your own or if you go to a professional you should not use retinol um i think they say to be safe a week before and a week after having it done because um obviously fillers in your lips is hyaluronic acid like a thick gel form and um retinol might break that down i guess my feeling on it that's what i think anyway the next thing I'm going to use, so I've put my treatments on, cleanse the face, I've put my niacinamide, I've put my retinol, now I'm going to, I've, I've actually got this in a bigger jar but I first wanted to try it and I found these little avocado melt retinol eye sleeping mask by the glow recipe and i found um this on ebay thought great try it um absolutely loved it i knew i was gonna love it and i seen a bargain so i um i bought a jar of it so i'm gonna use that and i'm gonna use a little scoop so i got this one with what i'm about to show you in a minute my last um step in my nighttime routine i got that with this and i got another one here which i got with some pericone um so just like a little spatula i got this with a pericone and md uh, like moisturizer which i use sometimes so i love my skincare so i do try i go through some for a while and then i change it um but you should really give it a month to know whether it works for you or not maybe two anyway so i've taken a good amount and i'm now going to put that under now with using retinol under your eye or actually anywhere um especially if you haven't used it at all ever you will get like what feels like roughness like sore like um irritation uh, but mainly like a, a rash it feels like a rash dry bumpy you know um, and what that is that's just because the retinol is working it's turning over the cells which is what it's designed to do so giving you a, a quicker cell turnover and um, you know your skin's just getting used to it so sometimes that can last for about six weeks so it's worth sticking it out just, you know, if that happens, use a good moisturiser. Um, and perhaps if it's too much, just go onto something which is a lot lighter, uh, something which isn't so strong. Um, uh, that's same with anything, really. If something's a bit too strong for you, but it's a good product, like niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, uh, retinol um yeah uh, any of those things lactic acid salicylic acid glycolic acid any of these if it irritates your skin and you have too sensitive skin that you can't take it then just find a lower percentage and start low and work up eventually your skin will accustomize to it so then you could go in with a stronger formulation of that particular product sometimes i use this at night time and sometimes during the daytime but mainly at night time uh this is vitamin c 30 percent by the inky list i also have uh revolution 20 percent vitamin c great stuff you know i'll probably end up using that tomorrow that may irritate your skin so with that anything which is irritating say if you've put this retinol on it's a little bit itchy you want to like tap you know you don't want to scratch but if it's getting it a bit itchy maybe just doing a little light tap on it might work but what can work is once you put on a moisturizer now because i'm going to put a nighttime mask on after i want to use um a lightweight moisturizer and i'm using saturday skin so it's like a gel and it's literally called featherweight daily moisturizing cream so uh, i would use this i also have which i sometimes use at night time the um glow recipe uh, for oily to combo skin watermelon um 
you know watermelon glow pink juice it's called so i use that as well this has hyaluronic acid in and antioxidants but tonight i want to wear the featherweight saturday skin so that's what i'm doing so i'll just put a little bit here i don't know whether i said um obviously using the um the balm cleansing balm the reason for using the balm i mean i do have other cleansers which i use like um good light do a good one which is um very good at putting moisture in the skin saturday skin cleanser i've got quite a few that i use but um the cleansing balm is good because it is a balm it's oils so you know it's going to remove your makeup really well it's going to just melt that off and it's also going to get rid of the sunscreen so you know today i've had sunscreen i have sunscreen on every day you know and the reason why it's important to have sunscreen is when you are looking after your skin especially when you're doing all these steps at night you're using treatments uh, you know um chemical exfoliants you're really looking after your skin to try and get it back to how it was or you know in a better condition because especially if you like doing makeup and if you've got mature skin you want to make that a good base you know you want to get the best skin possible for the best look possible right so it's slightly itching which is fine that stops soon sometimes it happens so um you want to wear the sunscreen so then you are protecting what you are doing because if you're going to be doing all that and you don't wear sunscreen and you go out in the sun even if it's like eight degrees out there you know um if there's sun in the sky if it's daylight yeah and even if you're indoors and it's daylight that is going to cause some sort of damage to your skin it's going to so everything you do you know even if you're not sunbathing and you're only out for short periods or you're around the house um and windows are all open you're going in bright kitchen bright bathroom and you know you're not in full sunlight for that long you're still gonna um regress your hard work so it may not be a huge jump backwards, like if you were to sunbathe, <laughs> for example. But, you know, you're, it's like you're taking two steps forward, one step back. That's what's going to happen. So you want to use sunscreen. And um, when I do my get ready with me, I will post um, or I will talk about the sunscreens and the type of sunscreens as I'm doing my makeup. Because this is now 25 minutes I've been talking for. It doesn't take me this long to do my nighttime routine, honestly. So what I'm going to use now is Saturday Skin um, Yazoo Vitamin C Sleep Mask. So this is a great way to implement vitamin C into your nighttime routine. It's the last step, so you put it on after. You can use it as a 10 minute mask during the day, which is great. Um, but yeah, use this at night. It says to use it like, um, I think it on the instructions, it says something like two scoops. That's far too much for me. I just take a small scoop. Um, if I'm not using this, I would use the Watermelon Glow Recipe Sleeping Mask, which is um, just a lot of chemical exfoliants and hyaluronic acid, etc. Everything brilliant and yummy in a sleep mask. Um, but, you know, like last night, I didn't wear a sleep mask. I literally just wore... So I still did the ordinary steps, the retinol, the niacinamide, the retinol. But what I used after was Olay Regenerous Retinol 24 sleep, uh, sleep moisturiser. So, you know, I change it I just to how I feel. So right now I'm going to take, I don't want to take too much. 
so this is all I'm gonna take <laughs> okay that looks actually like quite a bit and um, so it might be I might have taken too much yeah I'm gonna just tap that in I haven't had it touch my skin so I'll just tap that off I'll just scrape the rest off onto my hand so this is what I've got here it has bits in it as well so be aware of that um, you know they're no problem it's not like it's grainy on your skin it's just like having bits of you know uh, fruit peel in there so I'll just put this around because it's vitamin C it's going to be lightening the skin it's going to be forcing skin um, it's going to be forcing cell renewal it's going to be helping with those fine lines it also really feels nice when you wake up in the morning uh, your skin feels just nice and soft and plump it's just really lovely it's really lovely to use for my lips perfecting lip balm by i can never say what they're called omoro visor it's that one you probably recognize the little emblem <laughs> I'm not sure. but um you know i i've got loads of um lip masks and nighttime ones or lip balms so i just take a little this has hyaluronic acid in it it's nice and thick it's sweet tasting so um that's it so yeah tomorrow i'll do my face I'm going out in town uh, taking my daughter to the dentist um, to have her braces sorted out. I'll uh, be doing a nice simple look tomorrow and I will talk about my daycare, what I do, um, what I use in the morning, what's good over makeup, what sort of makeup I do for my skin which I have combination skin of um so I also I've suffered from oily skin for a lot of years which is probably why my skin is quite good to be honest I don't have a hell of a lot of wrinkles or whatnot so I don't know good genetics it's my nan <laughs> so this is my nighttime routine for mature skin I'd just like to say I am not a skin expert you know i just learned what i needed to learn for my diploma in makeup artistry i recommend uh looking uh on hiram's youtube channel james welsh's youtube channel for um good advice on skincare i am just saying what i do and what the products do maybe um you know i haven't gone too in depth you know i don't know everything <laughs> i just know that they're good for me i know what the results are going to be from me using them that's all i need to know so um yeah okay bye <laughs>